Many of us made a resolution to lose weight in 2014. We make that resolution every year, don't we? Yes. I don't. We've called it a pro now. <laughs> I know you know who we're talking about. The Fit Mom, a.k.a. the No Excuses Mom, made famous by this picture, saying, what's your excuse? It went viral just eight months after she gave birth to her youngest child. Look at her abs. Look at that shot. We know why it's got attention. Three cute kids as well. Mm -hmm. Maria Kang joins us live from Sacramento. Maria, you've got 14 tips for us. I didn't even notice any abs there. I was looking at the kids. <laughs> Those kids are beautiful, yeah. by the way. Thank you. I know you must get the question all the time. How did you do it? How did you stay in shape with three little babies? You know, it's tough, but I made sure that every single morning I set my goals. I set my, what I call my three Ps, my professional, physical, and personal goals, because it's important to stay balanced. And I made sure that I made my health a priority, whether it's exercising in the morning before the kids are awake or at the park with them. I like that. You make time for yourself. What are some other things, if folks are watching at home and for myself as well, uh, what's important to do if you just want to get started here? I always tell people one of the first things you should do, and this, you know, this has gone a bad rap lately, but take a selfie. Go into your bathroom, get into <laughs> your sports bra and your shorts, and take a picture. You, it might be uncomfortable, but you're going to appreciate that picture a month from now or two months from now because it's not good to always focus on the scale to see progress. So take a selfie. The mm -hmm. next thing you should do is look at your nutrition. Write down what you're eating and drop your calories slowly. Don't go from 3,000 calories a day to 1,200. That's not healthy for you. So drop your calories slowly is another big tip of mine. Was this easy for you? Were you one of those women who could eat what you wanted, exercise, not so much, and still look no. like that? Absolutely not. You know, my child was eight months old at the time. I was really focusing on losing half a pound to a pound a week. I mean, it was really a slow process. But I made sure that I was staying dedicated to my goals, which was to exercise with intensity and to eat four to five meals a day. So it wasn't easy for me, and I'm telling you, it's possible. Hmm. Uh, you also say something about posture can help. <laughs> oh, <So> yeah. <laughs> you know what? A lot of people have bad posture. And oh. because of that, <laughs> well, a lot of people who are sitting behind a desk, a lot of people yes. have bad shoulders mm -hmm. and bad back issues. And when you apply additional weight, when you run with this bad posture, um, it, can, it can hurt yourself mm. a lot more because you have some muscle imbalances. So you need to fix your posture. You need to strengthen your weaker muscles. Maria, there's no secret that there's been haters out there who have said that you're judging them. They don't like your message. What do you mm -hmm. say to them? I say, you know, my message has always been, number one, to make your health a priority regardless of the challenges that you have in your life. I just released a calendar with 25 real moms showing that regardless of shape, size, or age, mm -hmm. your health can look very different from, you know, for everybody. So what I'm saying is make yourself a priority and there's no excuses. Well, that's good to hear, Maria. Now, I heard about another one that's actually on your list and that one was something I'm kind of guilty of turning off your notification tell me mm -hmm. about that so I do not have any notifications from any social media sites on my phone I think it's really important to be very focused on whatever task you're doing I mean sometimes I time myself when I'm doing laundry and I have loads of laundry with you know imagine three mm -hmm. boys and a, a husband so mm -hmm. yeah I make sure that I'm very focused on whether it's cooking when I'm with my kids when I'm working out turn off those notifications because it's really distracting you so it sounds like being present is what you're talking about, making sure that if you're with your family, you're with your family. If you're working out, you're working out, but being present in every moment of your life. Absolutely. For 2014, I hope everyone's very present about what they want to, want to achieve and be present in what they're grateful for in their life. And you mm. touched on this, but it's not about perfection, right? Take it no. at your own pace and build up towards that. Uh huh. I used to have that quote in my bedroom wall. I used mm -hmm. to write, uh, focus on progress, not perfection, because I can be a perfectionist at times, and it's, I can be very hard on myself, and I think I speak for a lot of people. Yeah. So, you know, focus on the journey, and don't be too hard on yourself, and just wake <clears throat> up and, and try to make yourself better the next day. Yeah. Mar Maria, I think I have the posture down. <laughs> But I don't have a sports bra. What should I wear for my <laughs> selfie? Uh -huh. Should I go Geraldo style? No. Go Geraldo style. No. <laughs> no white towel. No, Vinny, no. Okay. <laughs> Maria, thank you. Some Happy great Happy New tips. Year, Maria. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank you.